Hi everyone, do you want to secure your WordPress site? If you do, you might want to try out Defender Free. Let me show you how we set it up. So let's go ahead to the dashboard. Then we're going to go to plugins and say add new. Here, we look for Defender. And this is the plugin here that we want, Defender Security. And let's say install now. Click activate. All right, now we've got Defender. When you go to the side menu at the bottom, we've now got a new item down here called Defender. And we're going to say activate and configure. So we go down to this area here in the tools and there's a couple of things that we're going to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, a couple of these tools that we have. So first of all, there's recommendations. Um, next is you know looking at these various malware scanning tools and they are upselling you to a premium tool. So the first thing we're gonna look at on the left-hand menu is what's pro. So audit logging, this tracks and logs each and every event in the site. Great tool, but Again, do you really need it? Uh, malware scanning, this is a tool that scans your site. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and, and turn this on so it updates on a regular basis. Here, all of these items are just default things that I know are fine. So I'm gonna say ignore all of those files. I can come in here at any time and run a new scan if I wanna scan for malicious information. When it comes to the recommendations item, we can see that I can disable the file editor. I don't need to do that on mine. Um, everything else here is actioned. So I've already actioned all this stuff, which was managing the login duration, making sure that we're on new versions of PHP, disabling XML RPC, everything here is already set up. Any of these items, you can take a look at if you need to make sure that you disable something. When I go into tools, we can see here that I can mask the login area. So that's one thing that I can do. Um, this stops tools automatically coming in. We can turn on some security headers. So I'll turn on these items here. Just like that. So I'm gonna say Yep, that's right. We want to have the we want to click the on-site and iframe. This permission here is for things that are embedded. The referrer policy, that's when you have things like HTTP being loaded on a HTTPS page. HTTP strict transport is again locking that kind of thing down. Um, a lot of these things help block XSS attacks and all that sort of stuff. A lot of these things are already built into uh, Cloudflare if you're using WP Engine. But I just turn them on they're not gonna cause any harm at all. Um, the main one is really the permissions policy. If you're doing some sort of strange embedding, that may cause a problem. We're gonna activate the porn passwords. This is when passwords are being sold on the internet somewhere else. So we wanna make sure that we're um, making sure that anybody that's, you know, um, grabbed a password, that they're all there. But the main thing we wanna do here is the Google recapture. This means that for the login page itself, somebody has to put the Google recapture in. This is the main reason why you would install this plugin, is to put a recapture on your login page. So let's click activate here. And now it's gonna ask me to go ahead and put a recapture in. So we're gonna use the V3 version um, of recapture. Okay, so the next thing I do is go over to recapture and I'm going to go to, I've gone to google.com recapture of the about page and I'm going to go to the V3 admin console. 
From there, what I wanna do is click plus here to create a new key. Now, there's a couple of things that we're gonna to have to do here. Um, so let's go ahead and open up a new tab. We're gonna open up WP Engine. So inside WP Engine, I've got my live website, but I haven't made a staging or development yet. Um, I haven't needed them at this time. So that's an issue because if I put a capture on and then I copy my site out to staging, that's gonna give me a problem where the capture won't work. So then I have to go and disable the, um, Defender to be able to get in. So I'm gonna add a staging now so that I've got it if I ever need to go and do anything. So we're gonna copy an existing site. So we're gonna copy the parks open. I'm just gonna get the one from 17 hours ago. Um, it doesn't matter about that right now. Um, we've got the staging there. So I should be able to just do Parks Golf STG like that. And we're going to say Add Environment. Now, when that creates the environment, that's now going to create a new domain name. We've got Parks Golf STG.WP Engine. That's the domain name that we're going to have. So when I go and add my domains, I need to add more than one domain name. We wanna add the domains from staging and from production. And if you're using dev, you wanna add those domain names too. Now, obviously you can go back and add them later on as well. Um, you know, you can always log back into your recapture and add more items. So don't feel like, you know, this is gonna cause some sort of huge problem if you don't add it, but I, I find it's an important tip to make sure that you add these extra domain names. When you do that, you're making sure that you're not gonna end up with any problem with the recapture in the future when you're cloning things out. You may also want to add in your local domain names if you're synchronizing the site to local. So I've gone ahead and added those names just like that. We've got the V3, this is gonna be called Parks Golf Open, just like that. So that's now all there and I click Submit and that's now gonna give me my keys. These keys, I'm gonna fuzz them out because you can't see them. You shouldn't be able to see them because that will then open me up to people being able to hack into this site, which we don't want. So we put in our site key, we copy that, and we copy our secret key and paste that in. Now that all of that information's there, we're gonna say, where are my recapture locations? I'm gonna put them on everything except the lost password. The recapture for, Word, for WooCommerce and BuddyPress is no longer required there. And we're gonna disable recapture verification for logged in users. And then I just say save changes. There we go, and that's now enabled. This now means that my login page is protected from brute force attacks because we've got the Google Capture enabled and it's a great way to improve the security on your website. If you find that you're still being attacked a lot on your logins, that's when you would consider upgrading Defender. The other thing you could also do as well is upgrade your hosting. All right, so that's how we use Defender Free. On most of my sites, I use the WP Defender Pro from WPMU. It's worth checking out. I've left a link below in the description. And if you like this tip and want more tips like this, why don't you leave a comment below? Let me know what you'd like to know about securing your WordPress websites. And I'll see you in the next video.